greats. Thor Heyerdahl. Thor Heyerdahl was a Norwegian explorer, adventurer and anthropologist that was born on the 6th of October 1914 in Larvik, in the south of Norway. He was the son of Thor Heyerdahl and Alison Lyon. At Oslo University, he studied biology and geography, specialising in Polynesian anthropology investigating the migration routes of Polynesian Marquesas and islands in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. He made publications in National Geographic and in International Science. In that age, Thor was aquaphobic and didn't know how to swim. During the Second World War, he enlisted in the Norwegian Paratroopers Unit of the Allied Forces. With the intention of demonstrating that the natives of South America could have migrated to the Pacific Islands, in 1947, with a small group of companions, Knut Hogland, Bengt Danielsen, Erik Hesselberg, Torstein Ravi, and last but not least, Hermann Watzinger, they started their journey of 6,920 kilometers from the harbour of Callao in Peru to the Tuatmotus island in Polynesia, on a trip that lasted 101 days, in a raft called Contiki, which was made of logs, plants and natural materials from South America, materials which could easily have been utilised by ancient Peruvians. As the raft hit the reefs of the Tuamotas Islands, the expedition proved that the inhabitants of South America could have travelled from the mainland to the Polynesian islands using just a raft and maritime currents, perhaps using fish which gathered around Heyerdahl's raft as a source of hydration. Nevertheless, Based on physical, genetic and linguistic evidence, most anthropologists still believe inhabitants of these remote islands came from the west, not the east, perhaps migrating from Asia. Thor and his team's expedition found moderate fame when Heyerdahl's book became a bestseller, and also in 1951, as the documentary won an Academy Award, a more dramatised version was also released in 2012, receiving nominations in the Best Foreign Language Film at the Academy Awards, as well as the Golden Globes. Following the success of the Contiki expedition, Thor made a few other expeditions. To the Galapagos Islands in 1952, the team travelling there was the first to make excavations and their findings suggested that the Incas might not have been the first to arrive to Galapagos. Later they went to Easter Island in the eastern Pacific, which brought a more detailed theory of the island's history. According to Heyerdahl's beliefs, something occurred between the island's discovery by Admiral Roggeveen in 1722 and James Cook's visit in 1774. Roggeveen encountered on his discovery white, Indian and Polynesian people living in harmony and even prosperity. However, Cook found a much smaller population consisting of mainly Polynesians living in privation. Heyerdahl's theory talks of an uprising, a revolt of short ears against the ruling long ears. He speaks of a defensive moat being dug by the long ears and filled with firewood. During the uprising and while under attack, 
the long ears ignited the moat and retreated behind it for protection. But the fire didn't keep out the short ears, and they found a way around the moat and pushed all but two of the long ears into the blazing fire. The moat was found by the Norwegian expedition. Evidence of fire was also found, but no fragments of bodies were detected. Another crazy expedition was planned, this time with the intention of proving that Egyptians could have reached the American coast and started the Aztecan and Incan civilizations 4,000 years ago. From Morocco, the boat, based on drawings from ancient Egypt made of papyrus and named Ra after the Egyptian sun god, the boat set sail with a multinational, multiracial crew of seven with different religious and political views. The first attempt failed when water came aboard, causing the boat to break apart after doing 6,000 440 kilometers. The same expedition was tried a second time a year later, with only a couple of changes to the crew. The papyrus boat left from Morocco. A few weeks into the journey, the boat was lost and was subject to a search and rescue mission by the United Nations. The search was unsuccessful despite worldwide help. But the boat showed up anyway, after 57 days and 61,000 kilometers in Bridgetown, Barbados. An extraordinary accomplishment. Thor Heyerdahl died in Colamiciere, Italy, at the age of 88. It would be very difficult to find someone who faced their fears with the bravery that Thor faced his aquaphobia. His last 10 years were spent living in a modest house in Tenerife. He was awarded a state funeral in Norway.